Dear Margaret uh, Lascancorla, I'd like to first of all welcome the publication on the 9th of January of the terms of reference for the Commission investigation into the mother and baby homes and certain related matters, uh, which will be constituted under a Commission Investigation Act 2004. And uh, the part to note that it is a, a Commission of Inquiry, not a tribunal. I know there's a lot of uh, concerns about tribunals costing a lot of money and going on for years. Uh, ideally, I think it would be great if we could investigate all institutions, but I have to ask, is this in terms of time and everything else, is this, is it, is this possible? And the order is 14 uh, institutions and a representative sample of county homes uh, to be selected uh, by the Commission. In Galway, we've already seen the uh, Interdepartmental Committee uh, report to uh, establish the facts of state involvement with the Magdalene laundries. And I welcome, obviously, and remember the poignant state apology in February 2013 uh, to those who survived the, and, and the victims and survivors of the Magdalene laundries. We've seen the Rhine report in relation to child abuse uh, detail the horrific conditions and the abuse endured by boys at Fletcher Frack Industrial School. And last May, we heard the reports about the Bon Secours mother and baby home in Tume, uh, which obviously attracted international uh, coverage. So obviously we've been, as a nation, we've been coming to terms with our past over the last decade or more. And this uh, latest investigation, uh, the manner in which single women uh, and their children were treated in mother and baby homes, uh, how they came to be there and the circumstances uh, of their departure is the latest part of uh, this whole process uh, of coming to terms uh, with the past within this country. But also acknowledge the fact that the fathers of these babies got away scot-free. Today in modern Ireland, we uh, all understand that fathers uh, have rights and also have responsibilities. In all Ireland, regrettably, uh, when a young girl fell pregnant and had a baby, it was her fault, her sin, her shame. That was the view at the time. It wasn't. It certainly shouldn't have been. Uh, it was two people who were involved, uh, a mother uh, and a father. Uh, I'd like to welcome the consultation that has taken place up to, uh, up to now in this process, uh, since the Dáil decided last July uh, to initiate this inquiry on the decision made uh, last week at Cabinet. I'd also like to, to, to welcome the willingness of those who were centrally involved in the process and who have contributed to the process thus far. And I welcome the appointment of Judge Yvonne Murphy as Chair and the appointment of two experts and Dr William Duncan and Professor Mary Daly. Uh, it's always important in terms of, of uh, power that, that these inquiries have proper powers, and I know there will always be concern uh, out there. The 2004 Act gives powers to seek and facilitate voluntary cooperation of people whose evidence uh, it requires. They will have a wide range of, of course of uh, powers if required. They'll be able to give direction to attend or to people to answer questions, uh, powers to disclose and to produce documents. Uh, powers of entry uh, and inspection, powers to seize documents and equipment, powers to make determinations uh, and give direction where privilege is claimed uh, over documents. And if a person, fa person fails to comply, the Commission uh, can apply to the court uh, to compel uh, compliance. Uh, the Commission will be able to access all records relevant to its work, no matter the status uh, of the person or the entity uh, in possession uh, of the records, and that's certainly welcome. Uh, the evidence will generally be held in private, except uh, where the witness requests to give evidence in public. And there may be cases where a person wants to uh, tell their story and, and, and tell what happened to them in public, uh, so that, that you know, the country can see uh, clearly the testimony uh, from people. And that, that obviously would have to be a choice of individuals involved. And obviously the Commission would have to grant the request, or where the Commission feels it desirable, in, in the interest of both the investigation and for fair procedures uh, for the evidence uh, to be in public. Uh, a number of groups have, have, have given comment in relation to the Commission. The Irish Human Rights and Equality Commission have welcomed the comprehensive terms of reference, have stated the importance of independence, impartiality, uh, transparency and expertise. I've also stated that it is vital that victims are, are consulted during the investigation and given a voice uh, in the process. Uh, the organisation One Family, which are founded in 1972, welcomed the, also the publication of the terms of reference and that they, they feel that they and other groups were listened to uh, during the process. Uh, they also feel it's of great importance that there is an awareness of the social context that contributed to discrimination of non-marital families uh, and mothers. Uh, the Adoption Rights Alliance you know, have cautiously welcomed uh, certain elements of the terms of reference, however they have concerns that the inquiry is limited to only investigating those institutions and agencies with direct connection uh, to a mother and baby home. It excludes uh, those who gave birth in state 
or private majority homes uh, who, who also may have still suffered uh, I I illegal adoption. So I'd like to welcome the Commission. I hope that it will hear all the evidence in open uh, fashion and will report to the satisfaction of all who suffered.